Hi everyone, I bet you can't believe your eyes. <laughs> I have got another upload so soon after my last one. Um, I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone that watched my last upload and especially to the people that commented. I am actually really blown away by the response that that video has had and the engagement and just everything. Like all of your comments were just so, so lovely. Um, and reminded me even more why YouTube is such a special place. Um, I was really hopeful that some people would watch that last upload, um, but equally I didn't expect it. So um, it was such a lovely surprise to see so many of you not only remembered me and remembered the channel, but that you were so happy to see an upload um, after all this time. So I, yeah, I just want to say a massive massive thank you to you guys because honestly that meant so much for me um, and I wanted to just film another video as soon as I could just to get another one out for you so I thought that I would film this makeup look today um, it's very very similar to what I did in that last video actually um, slightly a bit more eyeshadow to it but this is typically sort of the makeup that I will do day to day like if I'm going to work um, or today I'm probably gonna pop out for um, a few drinks just in the sunshine but yeah it's kind of like semi semi glam but nothing too like crazy um, but yeah I just wanted to say in the intro my big thank you first before we got into the tutorial because yeah it just meant so much to me to hear that you guys were happy to have me back and happy to see more videos from me so um, this is a bit of a simple one, but I hope that you enjoy it anyway, and I'll let you get into seeing how I did it. So we've actually got some sun today, which is nice. So I'm going to prime my skin with um, the same primer that I used in my last video. It's a Carpe um, primer. I originally bought this when I was going to go travelling to Vietnam, because I knew it was going to be really hot. Um, and this is a good one for... Um, like if you're going to get a little bit oily or anything so as the sun's out today I figured this would actually probably be quite a good one to use sorry if my lighting is really bad for this I, again, I've just set up right by my window um, but the sun's kind of like half shining in so <laughs> hopefully it's going to be okay um, and you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing but this is going to be a really really basic um, makeup look anyway. This is basically like, I guess kind of like my everyday makeup, um, but maybe like slightly more elevated. I might do a little something just to um, make the eyes pop or something, but it'll be quite natural. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of lip balm as well. This is an Aurelia lip balm. I got this for Christmas from my mum and it's actually really nice, um, very hydrating. It's got um, orange oil in it. I believe, yeah, sweet orange. Um, it's very, very nice. I'm gonna just let that sit on my lips while I do the rest of the makeup. Normally I would do a bit of Charlotte Tilbury, um, I don't even know what it's called, the glowy base thing from Charlotte Tilbury, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I feel like I'm gonna put my BB cream on and then see how I go. Um, Cause I just feel like I don't want too much glow. So yeah, BB Cream Garnier. This is the classic light version. I thought they discontinued this because I couldn't find it in Superdrug when I went to go and buy it the other day. Um, but they keep this in the section with the skincare. So with their moisturizers, which I was like, thank God, because I started to panic a bit when I thought this had been discontinued. This is just such a good, base product I think. It's not particularly high coverage but it's enough to just kind of like even out your skin tone. I like it as well because of the colour that it gives. It's just this beautiful like slightly golden tone. So I'm obviously very very pale and I like my face products to be a little bit more sort of on the golden yellow side rather than like the pink side I just think it looks nicer especially with me having such like dark hair and dark eyes I feel like it just brings a little bit more life back to my face so I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of 
coverage with that. And then I'm going to go in with my concealer, which is the Max Factor Miracle Pure Concealer. It's this one. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. I really like this because it's very sort of lightweight and quite nourishing. So it's really nice to put under the eyes, which is mainly where I focus this. Um, I kind of drag it a bit down onto my cheeks, um, just sort of like this basically. And then I will also put a little bit kind of up on this area, sort of drag it down my nose. This is in the shade 2, by the way. Um, and then I'll just use my same foundation brush and literally just stamp this onto my skin I'm using a very, very light touch and then just stippling it on, letting it blend in itself. And once I've mostly blended that in, just by stippling, I'll then go in with my ring finger under my eye, just really, really gently and help sort of blend that in with the warmth of my finger because I do get some creasing under my eye. Okay, and while that's freshly blended, I'm then gonna take a little bit of my powder. This is the Rodeal Glass Powder. I really, really like this. This is amazing for like just blurring the skin, blurring out your pores. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, but a quite a small one. And I've loved this very well. Um, load up onto the brush and then I'm just going to pat under my eye. And sort of down onto my cheek here. It's beautiful. It gives a really, really flawless like airbrushed effect. So I like to concentrate that under my eye, on the front of my cheeks here. And then I will take a little bit just around sort of like the centre of my face but really hardly any just sort of swirling the brush in and then setting sort of this front line of my face I guess and then I will just drag a little bit of it onto my eyelids as well I have such hooded eyes they're such a nightmare they really really have got so much worse as I've gotten older as well um, so I get a lot of creasing on my eyes now, um, but I found that if I try and sort of set the eye as much as I can, it helps. I still get really bad creasing, but there's not much I can do unless I want to have <laughs> a surgery to remove the hoodedness, which at the moment I don't really want to do. So, right, that is sort of that main part of the base, and then... I'm gonna go in with my contour, which is the e.l.f. Halo Glow contour. I got this in, I think the darkest color that they do, tan, deep bronze, intense, it says on the back. It is quite dark, but I wanted it to be a similar color to the Charlotte Tilbury, and I thought that this was probably the closest that they had, I, so I don't know whether it's worth me trying the lighter shade or not. Um, but I'm going to stick it on my eyes there, sort of giving some shadow to um, my crease. And then on the nose, I like to sort of do like a little, almost triangle, I guess. I'm going to try and stay back so I'm not in the light. I know that it's starting to sort of shine through, so hopefully it's not ruining this for you guys. Um, for my contour on my cheeks, I've learnt that I actually need to put it a little bit higher up. So sort of, I guess the hollow of my cheek is technically here, but I sit my contour actually on my cheekbone itself. I've just found that that gives me the best sort of like lifted look. Um, so I don't, I don't put it in the hollow as such. I actually put it right on the cheekbone itself. And then the brush I like to use for blending that is this one, which is a really nice dense thick flat top brush and for my contour I always just lightly stipple again for most of my makeup application I always just stipple I find that it gives you the best even blend and it like doesn't drag on the skin so that's that cheek and then I'll do the tip of the nose I have quite a large tip so I like to try and contour that to 
make it look a little bit smaller and then I do this side again I'm not like pressing super hard I just keep going in keep stamping it out and it just naturally will blend just put a little bit just on the bridge of my nose I found that that's the nicest way to sort of make you look a bit sun-kissed so that's what I like to do and then I'm just sort of dragging this part of the contour out towards my temples I guess I just want my face to look really nice and lifted and sort of open so that's why I do that it feels so funny to me to be doing a tutorial again I'd love to know when the last one of these was that I did I feel like it must be like eight years ago or something crazy so it feels really weird but it's nice to be doing something like this again um, and hopefully this isn't too boring and straightforward for you all um, right let's see so I guess the next thing I would probably do is eyebrows my eyebrows are very small and I can't really do much with them but I do use the got to be glued um, stick I managed to find this in I think it was the pound shop um, it, I wasn't able to ever find it in like my local boots or super drug but I did find it in there um, and I quite like this for my brows because it helps um, sort of give them a little bit more shape and structure so I just brush them up basically my eyebrows are quite thin so I like to make them look a little bit more full if I can for my eyes I will typically chop and change between two different eyeliners I like to do quite like a smudged sort of lived in um, look but um, I will swap between either a brown or a black depending on what I'm doing usually if it's in like going out nighttime makeup I'll do the black so um, for today I'm gonna do the brown so I have a brown pencil here this is Mac Teddy um, which is a really nice dark brown but it's got a little bit of like gold bronzy sort of shimmer to it so I'll typically just draw like quite a messy line on the very sort of outer corner of my eye here and I only take it to halfway in so I found that that is the best way to to work on my eye shape my eye shape is quite small um, and quite uh, close together so I don't like putting eyeliner too far in because it just overwhelms my eye basically um, but then I will take a little domed brush like this and just blend that out. Um, this will be really, really messy and I like to sort of drag it out quite far um, just to sort of extend that eye shape. I just bring it straight out. Um, don't angle it upwards or anything. I just drag it straight out. And then once that's roughly blended out, I will go in with Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat um, and this is just to use this colour here which I don't think you'll be able to see too well but it's basically just a very very neutral beigey brown but it's a perfect neutral crease colour for me I found that it just works really really well to add a little bit of depth I kind of need to do this every time I do an eye look because as I say my eyes are hooded um, so if I don't sort of put in like almost like a faux crease then um, my eyes can look quite flat and lack a bit of definition so even just putting a subtle little bit of warmth through this outer part of my eye it just helps bring a bit more shape back to them um, Notice as well, like most of the time I do my eyeshadow, I have my eyes open, which is a really great trick if you do have hooded eyes like me, um, because you can see where the placement is going to be. Because obviously most of the time, if you have a hooded eye, you lose a lot of your eyelid space once you actually open your eye. Um, so if you put eyeshadow all on your eyelid, when you eventually do open them and you have the hood hanging down, you then won't see any of the eyeshadow that you've applied. So um, I very much work with my eyes open and then I can see sort of how it's all sitting. I'm filming this on my phone as well, 
I probably need to get a camera or something but at the moment my laptop is broken it does not charge and it does not turn on so um, I'm very out of the process of like filming editing uploading so the last video I did I filmed on my phone and then edited it on my phone and uploaded it straight from there um, so I'm sorry if the quality of this is really poor and like little things like I can't zoom in any further than this so I don't know if this is like a bit pointless for a tutorial but this is quite a basic tutorial anyway so I feel like it's probably fine um, but I can look into other means of filming eventually um, okay then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I've got a little duo here oh, which I've had forever um, it's actually an Avon duo but this is the color that I'm gonna use um, which is a very like burgundy maroon kind of color um, this is really really pretty on my eye color so I tend to take this on a flat brush and then pack this onto basically where I put that brown eyeliner before and sort of drag it out a bit as well so follow that exact pattern that I did before I'm just putting it on the outer corner sort of halfway in and then slightly dragging it out and then once the brush is mostly free of product I've just wiped sort of the remaining product on my hand but you can see there's nothing really there I'll go back in and sort of start blending it upwards slightly just so it doesn't have a harsh line basically and then that sort of helps blend that all through and then I'll do the same on this side again not picking up any more product on the brush just sort of blending the edge so I'm going to use some of the Charlotte Tilbury blush um, I thought this had a name but I can't seem to see it on the packaging it just says high blush beauty light wand um, and it's quite like a peachy pink color um, so I like to dot some of this on the very sort of back high points of my cheek right up here um, and then I do the same on the other side I'm just using the edge of the wand because it's already got some leftover product on there um, and then I also did a little bit on the bridge of my nose just here and then I will take a blush brush and again I'm back to that stippling motion just lightly blend that in this blends in so beautifully it's so easy um, it's a really nice base blush though um, because it's so glowy hopefully that will pick up on camera um, but it's a very subtle peachy pink colour and then on top I set it with Illamasqua Beyond Powder I don't know I'll have to look up and see if I can find the name of this because I think it's rubbed off but it's a very shimmery peachy blush colour I found that the peachy colours just look best on my skin tone so I just pick up some of that and set the Charlotte Tilbury kind of drag whatever is left on the brush sort of around on the tops of my forehead just sort of blends it in nicely I put quite a lot of blush on because blush always comes off I don't know why it's the rule of the universe apparently but it does so I've gone quite heavy handed on the blush but it will settle down as time goes on so just taking my fluffy brush and just buffing across the edges just to make it all a bit more smooth um okay so for my brows I tend to just do like a brown powder um the one I use is in this sleek palette which is the I divine a new day palette um, which is a very very neutral palette unfortunately the one I use is <laughs> this crumbled one so I can't hold it up any more than that um, I've completely hit pan and the edges of it have just crumbled um, but it's just a brown shade just to fill in my brows I find I still do prefer to use um, a powder over anything else my brows I've tried other other products but um, yeah for me powder is just the best so I'll load up my angled brush 
and then just fill in this last bit. I wonder how many of these products are like products that I used to use years ago. <laughs> I wonder if any of you remember if these are things that I've shown before. I'm sure they are because I haven't really experimented much with makeup for quite a long time. But that is sort of where we're at right now. And um, let's think. I'm going to do a little bit of highlight. So again, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand. Um, I think this is in the colour, the colour Spotlight, this one. I think that's the original. I don't put too much of this on because um, some of the other products I've used are quite glowy as well, like that blush that I put on. So I don't need too much highlight, but I like to just put a little bit on the very tops of the cheeks. And then I'll also sometimes put it on my cupid's bow as well because I think that looks quite nice. And then maybe let's yeah why not let's put a bit under the brow as well then the last things i'll do is mascara and um some sort of lip color um but i always put on my setting spray before i do my mascara i don't know why i just think if i'm gonna put loads of moisture on my face it makes sense to do it before my mascara so that's how i like to do it so i've got the revolution hyaluronic fix setting spray this is all right i quite like this um i found that it doesn't transfer i think there's nothing worse than when you like go out and you're like hugging people hello and like you just panic thinking oh my god i hope my foundation hasn't rubbed off on their t-shirt or something so um that's the quality i always look for in a setting spray is is it going to stop transfer and this one does um, and i got this on asos i've kind of alternated between this one and a few of the elf ones um, and I like it, so I tend to just get whatever's on sale, but this one is pretty good so far. And for mascara, I use two different types. So for my top lashes, I use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise in the colour black. Um, and I like this because it gives you a lot of impact. Um, it's very dark. Um, it doesn't clump too much. It's quite a, a, quite a wet formula. Um, so I can apply a generous amount of this. And then on my bottom lashes, I don't like anything too strong on the bottom lashes, so I actually have this Maybelline Sky High <laughs> mascara, which is really old. It's basically completely dried out, but I like that because I just take the wand and do a little amount on the bottom lashes, just for a little bit of definition, but like basically no product payoff. <laughs> and then the final step I will do is my lips. So this is a Rimmel... London lasting finish exaggerate lip liner in the color rose addiction and it's a nice brownie rose color so what I will do is line my lips with this I'll basically line quite a lot of the lip and then leave like this very center part unlined um, and then I will usually put a lipstick on the top but sometimes and recently I've been doing this a lot more which is just lining it um, and then going back to the Aurelia lip balm that I used in the beginning, which is just a clear lip balm, um, and put that on top like a glossy finish. So then I can take my little bangs out. I've just had my hair cut and it feels so short. <laughs> it needed it. It was really unhealthy. Um, and I like the shape that I've got into it. I kind of asked for that like 90s long long layers 90s like curtain bangs situation um which i think they did a really nice job of the cut um but yeah it just feels so short because my hair was so long before this and now it's like it feels really short but it feels healthy so that's the main thing i'm going to put like some texturizing spray or something in it um before i go out and then hopefully it will just look quite like lived in and messy and yeah that's the vibe anyway um but this is kind of like my day-to-day -day makeup this is very similar makeup to what i would wear to work or um if like today i'm just popping out and um going out it's not like super glamorous makeup but it's just enough that you feel sort of put together so yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing that it feels so 
uh, strange to be filming a tutorial like this again. And yeah, I'm going to come back soon and do a few more videos. I'm not really sure what yet, but if you have any ideas, of course, let me know. Um, and I will write what all the products are in the product description. Description? Description box, <laughs> not product description box. Um, I'll make sure to write it all below with shades and things where I can. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one guys and I will see you all soon.